Hello and welcome back guys to yet another question. This question is more or less test of you not getting scared of the amount of information given. That is it. And we'll do all the basic things that we have been doing. C, J and Y. We are swimming laps at an outdoor swimming pool. C planned. Planned. Okay, she planned something. Okay. To swim for CM minutes at a constant speed and swim a total of CL laps. Jot again. Planned. JM. JL. YM. Why? So yeah, basically question till this point of time is effectively giving us this data only, nothing else. Mm, planned time, planned laps. What do we have here? We have C, J and Y. Planned is C, M, J, M, Y, M. Planned laps, C, L, J, L, Y, M. All right. They started swimming at the same time and stopped swimming at the same time when lightning began to occur. All right. So the actual time, actual time they swimmed was X minutes, right before lightning happened. If fish, if fish lost 40% of her planned swimming time, she lost 40%. All right. So what does this mean? Basically, she planned for CM and she was do, able to do X. So she lost 40%. So she did what? 60%. So this x is basically 60% of cm. This is one relation that we have, right? She lost 40%. So how much actually she did? 60%. So we have this value. And uh, because all the values are x, so all of them swim for 60% of cm. Which of the three swimmers lost the greatest percentage of their planned time? So basically, we need some relation between cm, jm, ym, right? That is what we need. And uh, they did it at a constant speed. So we do not also know the value of that constant speed. We do not have that. Okay, moving ahead in the solution, in the statement 1. CL, JL and YL. The planned laps. So we have the planned laps value. Since we do not have the speed value, neither we have the length of a lap. So none of those information is given or time per lap. So there is no way to relate this to time. So this statement is not sufficient to answer. So A, D, B, C, E, A and B. Strikes off. CM, JM and YM. So basically we have the value of this, this and this. And uh, so we can comp so we have this value, we have all these values, so we can get the delta. Delta is this value minus this value, this value minus this value, this value minus this value. We need not actually solve. We can we know that we can solve and get the answer and we can then compare. So this statement is sufficient. So we can eliminate C and E. B is our answer. So yeah, short and simple question. Do not get scared by these many data. Just try to actively visualize it in a form of a tabular form and take out inferences. Do not waste time in actually solving and uh, bringing out the answer. Who did the greatest per lost the greatest percentage? You know you can compare and find out. You need not do those calculations. You just need to know that you can do the calculation. That is it. So yeah. Thanks again for watching the video.